whether a government of national unity uh, is the best option, the consequences was going to be severe. Mm. Just imagine if the ANC didn't say, we want to establish this government of, of national unity under these circumstances. We had a danger where teachers will not be paid because there's no government. We have a danger where doctors will not be paid because there's no government. Patients will not get... So, so, mm-hmm. so you have to swallow your pride and develop uh, an approach that will make government to function. Uh, we know we are experienced. We know the pain and the price we will pay if there is no government. Mm. Um, so, I don't think that the leadership of the ANC uh, made a mistake. Uh, the debate can be yeah. the partners that we brought. Uh, but if you are forty percent, what do you do? <laughs> you can't govern. Um, you, you can have a minority government, but the experience of local government means that we're going to have lots of vote of no confidence and other things. So I think when the leadership took a decision, therefore, to invite all the political parties that wanted to, and literally, bar maybe one political party, all political parties were prepared to work with the ANC. So mm, mm. I think that the government of, of national unity uh, was inevitable. Uh, it was a choice that we needed to embrace. And uh, my only difference is that it's not the end. Uh, I see other people see uh, that uh, uh, the government of national unity is the end. We have reached our freedom. This is mm. where I don't think so. I differ fundamentally. Mm. I really believe that it's a strategic setback, and then we need to prepare the ANC that can govern this country again alone without any help from any political party. And it is possible, and we must. Uh, we must not lose that hope. Uh, what we need to do is to fix the areas where South Africans feel that the ANC has let them down. Then we all know them, uh, that we need upright leaders. You need a state that can respond to their needs, and you need a state that uh, is not corrupt. And uh, we need to fix those things as quickly as possible, dust ourselves and concentrate on rebuilding an ANC that uh, mm. we can all be proud of. And I'm, I'm convinced that the Real African National Congress will emerge with the real leaders, uh, with the ethos that made this ANC to be supported by mm. South Africans. What do you make of um, alliance partners like the SACP, um, its, its general secretary we had on this show? Yeah. Um, and I was, I was quite quite surprised by mm. by just how um candid um Mr. Mapaila was you know speaking about how disappointed the SACP was with the decision particularly to to ally with the DA um of course you can't make everyone happy yeah. in an arrangement like this but what do you make of of that kind of quite public uh condemnation of this coalition from from alliance partners he has the right to raise his views uh, we fought for openness, frankness. Um, he has the right to register his dissatisfaction. Because it's only when somebody raises that dissatisfaction that will be a commitment to listen to them and try to resolve them. Mm. But if you want to suppress people's views, those views will go underground and they're more dangerous when they're underground. Yeah, yeah sure. If you know, understand, then we'll use the mechanisms that we have as the alliance to say, let's hear you. Uh, because I don't think that we are all perfect. Uh, I don't think that the GNU that we have now, uh, it's perfect to meet the, uh, the, the, the uh, our ambitions uh, uh, of a national uh, democratic revolution. Um, it's, a, it's a setback that will be celebrated by those that hate the ANC. It's a setback that will be utilized by those that hate non-racialism to say we got them. Uh, it's a setback uh, that will ensure that the policy positions that we have on various components will be derailed. Uh, we have seen that with the Bella Bill, something very, mm. very close to my heart. Mm, mm. We have seen that with NHI, uh, that because now we are caught within this Bella Bill, we'll be reminded uh, we have lost power. Uh, don't just pass laws mm. as if um, uh, you are still in power. 
so 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 those limitations we must be honest uh, uh, hamper the national democratic revolution and therefore we need voices that can raise limitations about them and say no 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 no, no. <laughs> this is not the way uh, mm. things are i mean the removal of uh, the mayor of Tswane yes have genuinely exposed uh, and undressed uh, those that believe they've got the birthright to govern. Mm. Uh, that where we govern, don't touch us. If you touch us, uh, you 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 will see who we are. Uh, mm. Forgetting uh, that uh, they themselves, uh, where they govern, they don't want their NC closer. So so sure. So GNU has its own limitation challenges. I've seen. People celebrating 100 years. It's an achievement. No one gave us a chance that two competing uh, political parties and many other political parties can establish government and government functions. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so it's, it's work in progress where I stand. Um, but it's something that we must not uh, uh, forget that in the ultimate end, it's not mm -hmm. the vehicle that can take us where we want to go. The vehicle that can take us where it wants to go uh, is the African National Congress that have recovered from its weaknesses. Is the African National Congress that can run this government alone. Na, 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 na.